Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me, and thank you. This is Night Prayer for Wednesday, March 22nd. It's the third week in Lent, and week five in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 82, and Romans 5, verse 1 through 11. And now please join me in singing verse 5 of Psalm 95. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall never enter into my rest. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth, let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as at the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. God stands in the congregation of heaven and judges among the gods. Psalm 82, and please recite it with me. God stands in the congregation of heaven and judges among the gods. How long will you judge unjustly and favor the wicked? Defend the poor and the orphan. Do justice to the afflicted and the needy. Deliver the poor and needy and free them from the hand of the wicked. They do not know, and neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. And now I say to you, you are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But you shall die like mortals and fall like one of the rulers. Rise, O God, and judge the earth, for you shall inherit all nations. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. God stands in the congregation of heaven and judges among the gods. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand. And we boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given us. For a while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. Indeed, rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person someone might actually dare to die. But God proves his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more surely then, now that we have been justified by his blood, will we be saved through him from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, much more surely, having been reconciled, will we be saved by his life. But more than that, we even boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. Here 
That's the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, <clears throat> for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God, defend us and deliver us from the corrupt. Lead us in the ways of justice, that oppression may end and all may dwell in peace with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.